Hey, it's Kelly with Anna Kelly's Philippine Adventure. Got my iced tea, got a pretty day. Just hanging out here at the house, watching videos. I thought I'd do a little video. My little bitch session video. Now, it's gonna be partial bitch session and partial uh, opinion about me, about my, my opinion on some things. First off is my bitch session. First off, for the person out there who made the video, five reasons why Philippine women marry foreigners is for money, 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 and money. To that person, I say, pull your head out of your ass, get educated, come here, actually meet people, and don't put every single every single Asian or Philippine woman in a category that if they marry a Filipino or not Filipino, if they marry a foreigner, they're just looking to get out of poverty or get out of uh, the country because oh you're simple as that. That's just that's just stupid. It's stupid thinking to, to think like that. That's as dumb as saying that oh well there's prostitutes in America, so what, every American woman's a prostitute? You're saying every woman who marries a, a foreigner is a prostitute in this country because they're marrying for money. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a way of prostitution. If they're going to marry to get out of the country, they're marrying for money. So, you're just a damn fool. And I'm going to give you one example why you're, you're, a, you're an effing idiot. And the one reason is my beautiful wife. I met her. She knew I had no money when I met her. I, well, I, I had money, but I wasn't rich. Um, I was far from it. Uh, told her, you know, she understood that, one, I would never be able to build her a mansion on the hill or buy her fancy cars or any of that kind of stuff. And she understood that. Mainly because she had no problem with it because, one, she was poor. She grew up poor also. But then she graduated high school, went to college, got a college degree. She was working, she was a professional woman, she was working, making her own money. She didn't need my money, she never asked for money, she never, even now when we're married, she still won't ask for money, still. Okay, that's just one example. There are, there are many examples uh, of women who marry for love and not just money. So, you need to stop making hate videos, because that's all it is, is a hate video. Quit being an asshole, do some research, you know, and, and just, you know, be an adult. Um, you know, I sat and thought, why would someone make a video like, you know, why would someone make a hate video? And the only reason I can think of, you're probably a 65, 70 year old man, you came to this country, you found an 18, 19 year old girl, and you thought, oh, she loves me passionately. Which, look in the mirror, you're a 65, 70 year old man, you're an idiot to think that an 18, 19 year old teenager is going to fall in love with you. That's just, you need to reevaluate your <laughs> life. Uh, that's just sad to think that, you know, there's going to be thing, anything in common whatsoever. Um, that's the first one. Well, you married her, you got her to the States, or you got her here, you bought her a house, and you maybe bought her some land, a home, you know, whatever. And after you got all that stuff for you, you woke up one morning and all the shit was gone. And you're very bitter, so that's why you, you made the video. A man like who writes something, who makes a video like that, you more than likely have to pay for sex anyway, so you're probably up here in Angeles City somewhere, or one of them bar towns, and you were in a bar and you picked up yourself a bar girl, and you paid the mama son, and then you turned around and you went, took her to a hotel room, and the next morning you woke up, and all your shit was gone. She cleaned you out, the wall, and everything else. That's the second reason. Now, um, the only advice I can offer as someone who, you know, lived here, who's married a woman, who knew that I wasn't rich, who is a foreigner, uh, it blows everything you say, you know, only five reasons. She had her own money. Where's your next reason? No? Okay. We can meet somewhere and talk about it in person. I'll bring my lovely wife and we'll have a sit down, we'll have a nice long conversation, just you and I. You know, I won't, I'm not going to make any threats on YouTube, I don't do, I'm not going to do that. But I would love 
to meet you in person if you're watching this video. I got no issues. And I'm not going to, um, you know, I'm not going to play the Peter Vanderdick or whatever his name is. You know, make threats about what I'm going to do to you. I'm not going to do anything. Let's meet in person if you watch this video and we'll have ourselves a nice long discussion. Just you and I, man to man. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Um, so that's my bitch session about what I watched on, on the YouTube channel with someone. Somebody making hate videos. And I don't understand why you have to make a hate video. You really have to have low self-esteem and no brain cells to sit around and go, what can I do today? Oh, I know. I'll make a hate video about Asian women or Philippine women. That's what I'll do. Well, you're an idiot. Plain and simple, you're just a dumb, sad excuse for a man. So, anyway, that's my bitch session. My advice to you, asshole, get educated. Actually, come here and not pay for sex. Meet people. Try to... Uh, meet someone on a one-on-one -on -one basis and not have to pay for them and act a little more mature oh today we went down and we picked up my passport uh, I got myself extend I had to get myself an extension and uh, there's something for you guys out there or ladies who are coming to the Philippines if you come and get, if you do the extensions, the one, two months, three months, six months, or whatever how they have to do it. If you get an extension, say three months, six months, or even two months or whatever, and say you got your extension, you got your passport back, you decide that, oh no, I've got to leave the country for vacation. I might go over to Hong Kong, Taiwan, or go back to the States. If you do any of that, and you still have a whole lot of time left on your visa, guess what? When you come back, okay, it's like, say my, my extension this, this time was six months, so I got the six month extension, you save more money. Uh, if I leave, say, December, and I go back to the States, and I still have, you know, a long, a couple, of three months, whatever, on my extension, I come back, it's gone. You don't get it back, you paid for it, it's gone. The sticker, use it. Mark it off, no good. You start, number one again, you start right back with one month free and then you start all over again. And I know this because I uh, had the same question to myself because here in next, I don't know how long, I have to go back to the States and I have to get some things done medically. And I got to thinking, well, what's going to happen if I have say three months four months that I paid for on my visa and I, I believe and I come back so I asked and they said SOL so keep that in mind when you do your extensions if you have an idea that you may have to leave early only do your extensions to the point where they're almost expired so when you when you have to go back um, you don't have to repay for that um, so Blue word advice. I found that out today. And then of course after that we have to transfer everything over to her new name. And then from there, which is, you know, she has the same thing, her Phil Health, Social Security, have Social Security here, so you have to do that. Phil Health, Social Security, passport, uh, what else? So she has to get all that train changed over, but we can't do any of that without the marriage certificate. Now what we are gonna do uh, when we get it back is we're going to make a little small trip we're going to try to get back to the states as soon as possible but if it comes to the point where i have to go back to the states without her because it's taking so long on the visas what i'm going to do is um after i get back her and i are going to take a trip say like taiwan or something where she can leave the, without a visa she can go there and like i can come here go there for the day and come back and um, we're going to sign up for the Balak Bayak Beyond. I can't pronounce that word, but Balak Beyond Bayak. I don't know. 
There's a visa out there that allows you one free year of visa stay without visa fees. And it's called the Bilak Beyond or Beyond Bilak, blah, 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 I don't know. Um, check with your immigration, they'll tell you. If you're married, if she's with you, you land in the Philippines. You land it. <laughs> if you land in the Philippines with your wife, you can you can stamp it right there in immigration at the airport. You're married. Show your show them the, your marriage license, and you can get one year free uh, visa stay here in the Philippines. Now again, if you get the one year free exam and say four months down the road you leave the country, guess what? Unless you have your wife with you and you drop back in, you get another free year. If you come back, you only get one month. Keep it in mind, folks. Um, don't overextend your visa. So I hope you enjoyed my video today, my little bitch session about the idiot who made the hate videos about uh, Philippine women. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and a little extra info about the visas on the back. Um, we will be hopefully traveling soon to get some videos, some different places, do some walk around videos. Um, so please stay tuned to us. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And check out our old videos to give you an idea of what we're about. So until our next video, I am Kelly of Ann and Kelly's Philippine Adventure. We'll see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye.